Okay, right, I'm going to demonstrate um, changing the lead on some um, stereo headphones. So first I've got my nice Sennheiser phones here that have got a, a faulty lead. And what I'm going to do is to uh, replace the lead with some leads on these 99p headphones from China. I've got no idea what quality these are. That these are like because I'm just going to take them apart anyway. So yeah, let's start. So um, the, it's quite clear that this has been made in two halves and they're going to come apart. They're probably made out of plastic and it's just a question of what sort of force is required to do it. So um, I'm going to do this on a cutting mat. Oh, right. it, nice clicking sound says it's sounds like it's about to go. They're usually just held together with super glue or something like that. Press it going to be harder. All right, all right, that's what move then. Right, so I think we're making progress. All right, then. So it's a bit stiff. Okay, good. All right, I reckon that's. Come on, it's got to be it. Yes. There we are. Right, so now we've got the headphone out, we've got a lead which hopefully we can push through a bit. The reason I'm taking it apart rather than just cutting the wires is, it, it, is it's, um, it's very difficult to uh, solder, sorry, to, to, to tin headphone wires and therefore if you carefully unsolder the, the, the leads off um, and it, then it, it saves a bunch of hassle. Just undo the knot. Now these phones aren't um, uh, don't have any indication as to which one's the. That's not, uh, right, okay. As to which one's the left phone, which one's the right phone. So we're just going to have to use a meter here just to see which one's which. So I mean usually the um, the uh, plain coloured wire wire is the is the ground but we'll just double check that and onto that. Right and that's confirmed that that is ground. And although there hang on have I lost the I may have lost the tinning on the end of this, which is a bit of a shame. Let's just do it again. Or oh, maybe it wasn't tinned very well. These need to have a look. The, the insulation will disappear with the heat of the iron, but it needs a reasonably hot iron and it needs a little bit of time. So I'll just do it a bit like that. And we have one have a bit more than that. I don't know whether you can see the, uh, the insulation slowly disappearing. Oh, right, and now we've got a decent amount of tinned wire. Good. Right, okay, now the next thing now is to see whether this is left or right. So we'll pull that onto this green lead, which I think is quite often left, which is the tip. And it's the other way around on this. So, right, okay, so this is the right, it's that middle ring. So that's the ground. And that's that, and that's the right. Okay, so now we'll get the um, my right uh, phone, and this one's want to be a bit more careful with because we do want to we do want to keep this, but um, that's actually clicked apart really easily. Well, look at that! Isn't that nice? So. Um, The other thing we need to be checking here is that we get the polarity right, which uh, actually there is a bit of red here that shows that that's the, uh, the positive. So I don't think we need to do anything more on this. So let's do get the ground off. And, and, oops, see, we'll come on. Off, 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 off. Okay. And so this was right. Yeah, just double check. So now we can just undo the knot on this one. Let's get this lead off. Just going to move a bit of solder. Make sure 
sure it slides out without any problems. Okay, good. Right, now put the new lead inside here. Pop it up. Do I need to get some tweezers to just help it on help it this way? Okay. We need the uh, knot in place again. Just to hold it. Make it uh, so close to the end. Not so close it's going to slip off. Right. One knot done. Right. Now you will remember that the Far side was the ground. Uh, don't, don't, don't really need any solder, probably. But... Oh, so it, the uh, fact that it's quite a strong magnet is meaning that it's uh, wanting to move around and get attracted to the soldering iron bit. Right. Good. Right, so we've now got the lead in place, ground in place, the uh, live wire on, on the positive, so now we can just pop that back in. And my guess is this is sort of clicked in so positively that I can probably just click it together. Yes, I can. There it is, lead replaced. Just as simple as that. And I've got a nice red lead. Thank you very much.